Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0347 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0347 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor, a circuit low bank two. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the camshaft position sensor to know the location of the camshaft as it spins. It uses this for timing and it's seeing an error inside of this. So it'd have to be troubleshooted to know why. And the two main causes are going to be either a bad camshaft position sensor or in the wiring. And most people would just go ahead and swap out the camshaft position sensor. And if that doesn't work, then they swap out the wiring. But the wiring is not difficult to understand and to check really quick to see if there is an issue. And older Toyotas, they had two wires going to the camshaft position sensor. And in some newer ones, they could even have four. But by far, the most common is going to be three wires. And you always have to get schematics for your particular Toyota engine and, and year to know for sure what's going on with everything. But basically what's going on with it is that like in the center, you'll have a ground. And then one of these outer wires will, will have voltage going to it to power the circuit. It'll be coming from the battery. It could vary on the voltage. It could be 5 volts, 8 volts, 12 volts, whatever it is. You have to look at a schematic. But when the key gets turned to the on position, you'll get power to the circuit. And then the last wire will be is a signal wire going back to the onboard computer. And what happens is when there's metal directly in front of the sensor, it sends a signal back to the onboard computer, a 5 volt signal. And so what many mechanics will do is they'll take this plug off, they'll attach it to a known good camshaft position sensor, they'll go from ground to the signal wire, and they'll put a piece of metal in front of the sensor. If it goes from 0 to 5 volts, they know the whole circuit's working. And that's a real quick way that you could go about testing it to see if it, everything's working. There's some YouTube videos on that if you want to check that out. And one thing to mention is that if you're not getting no voltage through this, so if you go from the middle pin ground to, to one of the outer ones and you got the key in the on position and you're not getting no voltage, then very likely there's a fuse blown. There could also be an open inside the circuit, but a blown fuse is a common problem. And the fuse is usually located inside of the engine compartment up underneath the hood off to the right right there there'll be like a fuse in there it'll say like am2 or sns or something like this and it's usually in there sometimes it could be up underneath the dash but it's usually inside of the engine compartment so if you're not getting no voltage through that be sure to check for a blown fuse and so if you checked out the wiring and there's no issue there and, and there's no blown fuse or nothing like that then you are going to have to change out this camshaft position sensor and they're low cost items they're not high cost or nothing like that looks like they're ranging around 20 $20 or so, $20, $30. So they're not super high cost parts. And replacing one on a Toyota is usually pretty simple. They're usually located on the top of the engine. And with the sensor A, there's more likely going to be two sensors. Some Toyotas only have one sensor and some will have two camshaft position sensors. And since this error code says sensor A, there's very likely going to be two camshaft position sensors and they'll usually be located right on the top of the engine and so what do you do if you have a toyota with a p0347 code well first thing to do google where the camshaft position sensors are located on your on your toyota engine since there can be some differences and although there can be one there very likely is going to be two sensors locate the sensor a that's where it's located on the engine check all the wiring be sure the wiring's good be sure there's no blown fuse and if that all looks good go ahead and replace sensor a and that should solve the problem and so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0347 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.